it's time we headed back to Uranus. Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system and like Neptune is a frigid ice giant. In fact, Uranus is the coldest place in the solar system with temperatures as low as minus 241 degrees Celsius. Sounds nasty. Let's head out there and take a look. Uranus was discovered in 1781 by the English astronomer William Herschel. It was the first planet to be discovered with a telescope, but people have been aware of its existence since ancient times. We still don't have much to work with in the way of images or data. The only spacecraft to approach Uranus, Voyager 2, flew past in 1986, sending back the first images of what seemed a peaceful, serene world. Not much to see, so it would seem. Voyager 2 also sent back images of some of the planet's 27 known moons, and also revealed that, like Saturn, Uranus has its own complex ring system. Uranus has four times the mass of Earth, but its structure is very different to that of our home world. The planet is about 80% of this hot, icy fluid, which consists of water, ammonia and methane. It must smell really bad. This slushy layer is wrapped around a rocky core, which ticks over at about 9,000 degrees. Some of the moons of Uranus are really interesting, many with mysterious features that baffle scientists. The perfect reason to send a probe out there. We could learn a lot about the formation of our solar system and even of Earth by getting it closer with Uranus and its frozen family. For example, the moon Miranda has the tallest cliffs in the solar system. Glimpsed in this grainy image by the Voyager 2 flyby, these cliffs have a height of up to 15 kilometers. What other incredible discoveries await for us? So why does it look like Uranus is on its side? Because in a sense it is. All of the other planets orbit the sun on a basically flat imaginary disk known as the orbital plane. If we take a look at Earth, it's known that our planet has a slight axial tilt, about 23.4 degrees to be exact, in relation to the orbital plane. This tilt is what gives Earth its seasonal variations, without it our seasons wouldn't exist. Uranus, in contrast, has an extreme axial tilt. It's believed that around a billion years ago, an object roughly the size of the Earth collided with Uranus. This impact was so huge that it basically knocked Uranus over, giving it an axial tilt of 98.4 degrees. Essentially, this means that Uranus rolls around the Sun in a year that takes 84 Earth years. Due to this extreme tilt, Uranus has the wildest seasonal variations in the solar system. During the Uranian winter, one half of the planet is plunged into icy darkness for 21 years. It's obviously a pretty hostile place, and nothing could ever land there. The surface wouldn't be suitable anyway, being a slurry of toxic chemicals, but no land that we currently have would make it there. Winds in the upper atmosphere of Uranus reach up to 900 km per hour. Imagine hang gliding in that. Despite these obstacles, many scientists and space agencies would love to return to Uranus, this time taking a detailed look at it. I of course think this is an awesome idea. What do you think? Where in the solar system beyond Earth do you think we should head next? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. YouTube isn't just for the kiddies. I promise you'll never see junk food taste tests, Kinder surprises being opened or any Minecraft walkthroughs. See you next time.